Uh, it's my distinct honor and privilege to introduce to you uh, the governor of the great state of Arkansas, the Honorable Asa Hutchinson. Thank you. Thank you, Ed. Uh, thank you for your friendship, for your leadership here. Ms. Sun Lee, thank you for your comments today. Mayor, I'm glad you emphasized the contribution that is made in terms of discipline and respect. Uh, two characteristics that are so needed in our society that is emphasized by those that teach Taekwondo, but those that participate in it. And I want you to know I had a bird's eye view of it. Uh, I was on the front row. And it was very impressive and it was intimidating. <laughs> and it was even more intimidating when you saw this beautiful young lady over there getting splinters out of her foot. <laughs> well done. It's a high compliment to uh, see the uh, performance today. And I just wanted to add from the standpoint of the state of Arkansas, that means a great deal to have another world headquarters here in Arkansas and to have the American Taekwondo Association World Headquarters here. We recognize that you had choices, that you could have gone elsewhere, but you chose to stay here in Little Rock, Arkansas, means a great deal to our city and to our state and a source of great pride. Secondly, it is a beautiful facility. You look at this structure, you look at the design, the artwork, and that in and of itself is a source of pride. And so well done, and you kept the tree. Uh, I was here at the groundbreaking, and I think a few of you noted that I was looking with great admiration on that tree, and I'm glad it's here. But it's really a, a symbol of, of long life and uh, nature, but also discipline. And uh, we're glad that uh, we have such a beautiful design, a beautiful headquarters here and uh, that all the young people can participate in it. Mike Preston is here, who's my Director of Economic Development, who's been a good partner in this effort. And as I mentioned, we had to compete with other locations that this uh, ATA could have gone. And I'm glad that we won uh, that opportunity to continue the headquarters here. Because it is not only good for our young people that come and learn, but it is also an incredible marketing tool. Whenever you see 20,000 people coming to Little Rock annually. They all go back to their home. They're able to talk about Arkansas and what this place is like. The fact that your influence reaches six continents and 28 countries gives us an opportunity for international exposure for the great state of Arkansas. And then I want to thank uh, our friends from Korea that are here. Uh, Dr. Dae Young Oh, that I met today representing the government of South Korea. Thank you for being here. Thank you for allowing me to present an Arkansas Traveler Certificate to you. And the fact that we have had in the United States such a close relationship to our friends in South Korea means a great deal for us in Arkansas that we can be host and home to such uh, uh, the ATA that is important in Korea and important in the United States and to so many countries. So we're grateful for you coming the distance to participate in this occasion today. And so uh, I am delighted to be here. I'm delighted to show the state's support for this and to be able to know that our world headquarters is here. That's going to be a great asset for future generations but also a great marketing tool for the state for many years to come. Thank you very much. The governor alluded we had a little special ceremony in his office earlier today, and, and Mrs. Lee informed him that we, the next time you come here, this tree will be uh, officially the Governor H. Hutchinson tree. So, <laughs> she, she, And now with that, um, Taekwon Lee, the, uh, we've got a little special ceremony. He's... Sir, uh, Grandmaster, if you would like to join us, sir. Uh, Grandmaster and uh, Mrs. Lee and the entire Master's Council has uh, addressed the fact that um, through your leadership, the state of Arkansas, uh, and through um, everybody here, 
that's representing our community. Uh, as the leader of the organization, it is our tradition of the ATA to uh, present to uh, the governor a black belt, and a third degree black belt at that, uh, which I believe um, started with uh, our old governor and friend, uh, President Bill Clinton. And, uh, but it was also in the tradition that before you could wear the black belt. <laughs> there, is, there is no confidence in this audience. You must earn the black belt through the eyes of the Grand Master. Uh, no, no, truly, sir, uh, just as a uh, demonstration here, he can break through all barriers and everything that's not possible with the help of all of our leaders, everything is possible, sir. You mind just facing the Grand Master? Yep. Name. Sir, permission to break the board, sir? Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> And if you thought that was difficult, wait till you test for fourth degree, Governor. 